welcome back to another video like i keep saying this is my fourth i think my fourth video that i've recorded today so yes i do change clothes i'm just in a recording mood trying to record ahead of time um but i wanted to share my bi-weekly wax basket so what i'll be melting the next couple weeks um like i say in my candle videos i am not by any means a seasonal melter seasonal burner seasonal really anything with fragrance i'm not seasonal at all if i'm in the mood for roses i'm in the mood for roses it could be negative 20 outside i will be in the mood for roses so we're just gonna get started there's a mix of different brands here so i just want to share my thoughts on like have i melted it before if it's a new melt for me um and yeah kind of go over different things so let's jump right in so first up is the lavender vanilla this is from fusion i find this brand at my local meyer it's like a local grocery store just your really your average lavender vanilla scent um currently warmer wise i have one two two warmers in my office i have one in the bathroom two in the kitchen one in the kids room <laughs> one downstairs in the basement um and i feel like i'm missing a place No, maybe not. I'm maybe not missing a place. I think I have like a total of eight warmers. Oh, in living room. Duh. Um, I have a total of eight warmers right now. So I have a lot. I feel like I'm probably going to pull, hopefully finish some of these cubes. That's really my goal for the wax basket is just finish some of these cubes. But anyway, I really like this lavender vanilla scent for the kids room just because they like, you know, those relaxing scents. They're going back to school. So getting them in that like zen time to go to bed at a normal time again type of vibe is uh what i like so this next one i'm covering up this lady's information because i don't know her and i don't want her phone number and stuff just plastered on my youtube <laughs> um this is sensi's thunderstorm there we go so i found this lady there it was during holiday season and they were setting up like the small business Saturdays at one of my malls. Like every Saturday they would have like in the middle of the mall, it'd be a bunch of tables of like small businesses or like people who have baked goods or Scentsy or quilts and things like that for the holidays. It's a great idea. And she actually had um, Scentsy bars on clearance and She's like, I'm just trying to get rid of my stuff, things like that. This past year, 2022, I decided to place an order for Scentsy during the fall and I fell in love with Scentsy wax melts. I have a few in here that I will be definitely melting. Um, I'm working towards being a Scentsy consultant. I'm kind of dipping my, get my foot wet, okay? Um right now i do have a scentsy party going on with candle stylist here on youtube and instagram i will leave my party link down below this will only last to the end of january so this will expire 131 2023 please use my link to order your scentsy products i'm trying to get um the double the double host rewards that they're offering for january i placed a big order I may be placing another order here shortly, um, just for some other things. Um, but please, please, please use my link. I'm super excited for this opportunity with Scentsy. But let's get into this thunderstorm. So I've already used a bar of this. And I really like this. I think this is in my bathroom right now. But it has like a... It definitely has like a floral kind of element to it um very spring fresh aloe even um kind of scent so I really liked this to pull out for the bathroom or really anywhere that I want like a fresh scent 
Another one is the Vin Brulee by Country Candle. So I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. You can use my code ashcam 15 It's in the description box below. Save 15%. Now I believe they're having a big sale on basically everything that they have online right now. And I don't think you can stack my code. But in the future, if you want to use it, that is my code. Um, this is just a very fruity, bubbly type of scent. This would have been great to use for New Year's Day. But I really haven't changed my wax or anything the last couple days. Because I've been wanting to do this video. But this is like a nice bubbly scent, I think, for like an office or like a, a common area. Next is Snowbird. So this one definitely has like a citrus vibe. Oh, citrus woodsy vibe. It's not like Christmas tree in your face, like type of scent. I Once Christmas is over, I'm done with the evergreen. I'm done with the pine, like heavy woodsy kind of Christmas tree scents. Done with those literally by December 26th. I'm like, wrap it up. So I feel like this is a good like wintry scent to have, especially in the living room. Speaking of pine, <laughs> um, Sicilian Orange, one of my top favorite scents from Kringle. I have melted this already. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. I had to pull it out. I just, I have to. When I'm in the mood for it, like I said, I'm in the mood for it. Another Scentsy is Clothesline. So if you don't know me, I'm obsessed with clean scents. Laundry Day by Bath & Body Works. Top favorite laundry scented candle ever. This wax bar is up there. It smells like gain. It literally smells like my laundry. And when the laundry is done and it's warm and fuzzy, that's what this gives me. This smells great. I have the dryer discs in this as well to give my clothes an extra boost of scent. Highly recommend the dryer discs. Highly recommend this. Link below to shop that. Another fresh scent, Cotton Fresh by Country. Use it already. I had the medium jar in this. This smells more like downy or tied in a way. Like it's very fresh, fresh cotton. Um, the candle in this, overly, overly strong. Like, if you don't buy clean scents, don't buy the candle. <laughs> Another one that's one of my favorites, Sea Salt and Tonka. This is just a super relaxing spa-like scent. I think it's a great one to have going. Another good bathroom scent that I've already used a little bit of is Eucalyptus Lavender by Milk House. So these bars are huge. Very huge. So I split it in half. It's exactly what it says. It's eucalyptus. It's lavender. It's great. I like this by itself. And I really think this would be great to blend with like another fragrance that I have. Like maybe like a rose. Which I'll share now. Rose by Fusion. This is just a straight up rose scent. I think these two would be great to blend together. I might have to try that. Another rose one is Rose and Sandalwood. I believe this is new from Walmart because I've never seen this before up until like last month, like late last month. Very Sandalwood with a hint of rose. So I might just add more rose to it to give it an extra boost. Really like that, how that smells right now. This I've had forever and I think they just updated it. But this is the, oh it is, this is the same one. Apple Blossom and Freesia. <laughs> they just updated the packaging. So here's the new one. So this is definitely very floral. Like, very, very floral. If, Like I said, if I'm in the mood for floral, I'm going to be in the mood for floral. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so that one's definitely going to be an office scent. Because nobody else in this house wants to be in the mood for florals probably because we have two boys and obviously they're boys they like their manly scents just like their dad so <laughs> um i'm the only floral girl in this house okay but next is line dried linen 
Better Homes and Gardens. I got the big pack. I also have a small clamshell. This is just what it says. Clean scents all the way. I love clean scents in January, especially in the spring, but really in January because it just feels like the house is getting like cleansed, you know, of all the scents and all the cookie scents and all the pine and evergreens that we have burned, melted, enjoyed for the past couple months. <laughs> Marshmallow Fireside. Remember when these, when Bath and Byers came out with wax melts? They need to bring these back because chopping a candle is not easy, okay? But I only have a couple cubes left. These were $8.50 for a pack of six. And they don't really have a lot of fragrance. Like these last maybe a day. Like maybe a day. Another one that I found this past fall that I did not, I did not get around to melting. I'm kind of sad. Um, is this Blossoms and Apple, the Beautiful from Walmart in their Sensationals line. It is very floral. It reminds me of Fall in Bloom by Bath and Body Works. Like that floral but fall kind of vibe. I really enjoy this. I think this would be just a great girly scent. Walking on Sunshine. Red Currant Mandarin Peach Amber Lily White Freesia Orange Blossom Tonga Bee and Vanilla. So this has a lot, a lot going on here. But I love it. Because it's not... Overly fruity, overly floral, like it's it's a mix of both with the vanilla to kind of creamify it. <laughs> um, but it definitely is like a calm scent. Like if you don't like heavy fruits and florals, you might enjoy this. Um, definitely going to give this one a go in my warmer. This is Somerset from Country. Haven't melted this one yet very very floral powdery and like a hint of aquaticness to it I think this would be very nice in the bathroom I'm trying to cover this up there we go weathered leather let me see if it'll show there we go weathered leather so what got me like intrigued and sensi was really, like, Mr. Kong's mom, she does her videos. Um, I watch her a lot. I know I mention her a lot, but honestly, I love her videos. I watch them, like, it's a new episode of my favorite TV show every week. Her reviews are great. Her weekly home fragrance roundups are great. I literally look forward to it every Saturday. It is like my morning cartoons, okay? I'm eating my breakfast watching weekly home fragrance roundup. But she was talking about Scentsy and I was like, mm, you know, like, do I need to get another brand? I can't smell it. You know, I'm just going to try and be like, uh, like whatever. And then we went to the potato festival, which was fun. Um, we went to the potato festival and there was um, a lady selling her Scentsy there as well. And they had the weathered leather in the um, car... Not a car bar. What was it? It was the little like car fragrance. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Kind of like the little trees. That thing. <laughs> and my boyfriend and I were obsessed. Obsessed with the scent. It was so strong. It smelled so good. And she only had one of those. No wax melts or anything like that. And then the lady that I found the discount Scentsy bars from. That she just had extra of. She actually had... The wax bar or like the wax bar and I was like boop mine like I grabbed it that was the last one she had oh my god this literally smells like the if you live in Ohio southern Ohio in Waynesville the silver spur store it literally smells like that like fresh leather boots and I know I probably said that in the most Ohioan accent ever but that's what this smells like. I have this in the car bar clips. Car bar clips. 10 out of 10 recommend. Better than the Bath and Body Works car fragrance refills by far. This scent. Very, very strong. Highly recommend if you like leathery scents. 
I also feel like this would be good to blend with the rose to do like a leather and rose kind of like the pink rose and leather but better next is sea salt and sage this is from Walmart very spa like Kind of reminds me of like the sea salt and tonka a bit, like just a smidge. Maybe put a cube of each in that. I have one cube, one lone cube left of my favorite milk and cookies. Just trying, whoo, just trying to get this one finished up. Have my kettle corn from Country. It is, it smells like what it says. <laughs> kettle corn. I think this would be a good one to mix as well with something in the kitchen. I don't know why I almost said bathroom. I mean, hey, if you want to smell kettle corn in your bathroom, all power to you. Lemon and lavender. I love this scent so much in the candle. It just is so fresh, really good bathroom scent or like a good like living room scent if you have like guests over, anything like that. This is a, re a recent pickup. This is from Candle Warmers in the Birthday Cake Scent. I found this at my local Cabela's. And let me see if I can open it. Funfetti Birthday Cake that I love. I love cake scents so much. Um, Candle Stylist on Instagram told me this was kind of light. Um, but we'll see. Like if it lasts like a day, I'm not mad at it. It was only a couple bucks. I'm... A day is fine because I have so much wax melt to already go through that if it just lasts a day, I'm cool with that. One that I've really just powered through when I got this is the Cinnamon Butter Cream from Scentsy. And by I say powered through, I mean powered through. I adore this scent. Oh my god, it smells delicious. It literally smells like cookies in a way. Like, ugh, the cinnamon's not overly spicy either. It's a really good blend. Very gourmand. Very, very, very gourmand. If you don't like that, that ain't for you. Another one that's super gourmand that's my favorite is the Warm Maple Butter from Fusion. Now, I wonder if Fusion Wax Melt is no longer a business because I can't find them anymore. But I found the picture. It might just be a stock image that like another brand can use. But I found a wax brand at Kroger that had the same image on it. But a little bit different like font and everything. So I don't know if they got renamed or what happened. But I can never find Fusion anymore. I have a couple of these clamshells of the warm maple butter. Because it literally smells like pancakes. Like I remember when I first bought this. Put it in my warmer. I immediately ordered Bob Evans. It smelled that good. Next is Marshmallow Krispies. So these were sought after when they came out. Oh my god, this is probably a couple years ago now. It literally smells like uh, Trick Cereal. Like that's what it smells like. It smells like a freshly opened bag of Trick Cereal. Like the good Trick Cereal with the shapes. Not the crap they've been doing now. The one with the legit shapes. It smells so good i got this because it was a hard to find wax melt and i was in that vibe where like oh if i had it i'm not melting it i'm not using it it's rare now all the time i see this dang thing <laughs> so i'm like well time to use it up next is hot chocolate so i know this is like supposed to be like a wintry type of scent or like a holiday scent but it's whew, it's very chocolate like very very hot chocolate it smells exactly like what it says it smells great I think this would be a good blend with mm, I don't know I think I need to add like a maybe a couple more fruity things in here to kind of blend with this but I feel like it'd be good or add a peppermint but then that would go too much into like holiday and I'm, I'm done with the holidays another one that I didn't know I had is white almond Another favorite of mine, this is from Aldi. It, I love almond extract scented things. My absolute favorite scent. I could smell a bottle of almond extract all day and never be tired of it. This is a recent find. Um, about, I'd say a couple weeks ago, 
I walked into Burlap and Birch, I think it's called, at the mall near me. And they had a whole section of Swan Creek Candle Company stuff. That's where I found the Milk House um, brick. I keep seeing these about drizzle melts. And I was like, where do I find these? Like, I didn't want to order online because I was like, eh. Like, their website is kind of different. And it kind of looks like I'm going to get scammed. I know I'm not, but it looks like that. So, I was like, let me just see if they have some in store. Well, lo and behold, I found some. This is cherry almond buttercream. Absolutely delicious. These wax melts are huge. Um, I had to chop them. I had to chop them up half, like in half. Oh my gosh. The cherry with the almond. My grandma made this like cherry bread or cherry. I, it was just really delicious. It smells exactly like that. Absolutely wonderful. And then I had no idea that my Cabela's also sold Swan Creek Drizzle Melts. And I found the Bourbon Maple Sugar. This is literally a re like recent as of like Saturday, I think. This is strong. Like, very strong in the bourbon and the maple. It's, it's definitely going to be like chop in half type of situation because I don't think I could get through just popping one big one in a, a wax melter and calling it a day. So that would be way too strong. It's definitely going in the kitchen. But those are really all the wax melts that I pulled out really quick. I think this is a good set to have for... The next couple weeks I wanted to do like a weekly but I don't think I could keep up with oh, excuse me keep up with posting you know on YouTube a weekly wax weekly wax basket um or what I'm melting for the week type of video I don't think I can keep up with that right now just because I'm trying to get back into the vibes back into the groove of uploading on YouTube so I thought doing bi-weekly would be good that way I give myself Give myself some grace and if there's like a day where I don't want to feel like melting. That happens a lot. Um, or maybe I'm in the process of reviewing a candle and I don't want wax melts going or something like that. But definitely let me know in the comments below what wax are you melting for the month of January or maybe the next week or two. However you do it in your home. Um, maybe share below what, your, what are your favorite wax melts. And in the description box will be my party link for Scentsy. Like I said, my party link that I'm hosting only will last till the end of January. After the end of January, it will close. So please, please, please use my link to shop your Scentsy favorites or even to shop Scentsy if you're new. Car bars, highly recommend. Uh, dryer, dryer discs, highly recommend. My, I just shared my favorite wax bars. I have plenty other favorites. Um, there are bundle and save options where you can get like three wax bars for 17 instead of the three for 19. So you save, um, a couple bucks there. And then just let me know if you have any questions. I'm on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, like this video and make sure you are subscribed. There's a lot of you that are watching, but aren't subscribed. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the, by the beginning of spring. So definitely subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.